Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for technical and vocational schools. It is uh, unit nine, lesson two, adverb clauses of reason. Now, in order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, project success two, student's book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Four, a dictionary. Now, lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use adverb clauses of reason in writing sentences. So, what is an adverb clause? So, let's check that with a sentence. She moved. Now, I need to use the adverb clause of reason. I add this, because she wanted more convenience. Now, let's take a look at another example. You have a gap. Then comma, she lives in a small apartment. I need to use the adverb uh, close of reason. I say, since she has two children. Since she has two children. Another example, comma, they can help out with the, with the move. Now I need to use the adverb close of reason. Now that her sons are older. So, Adverb clauses are used to explain why someone does something or why something happens an action. So, adverb clauses are these. Because she wanted more convenience, since she has two children, now that her sons are older. Okay? And we use actions, for example, do or go. So, we separate, separate um, the main clause to the adverb clause. All right? So, Adverbs of reason. The first one, the most famous, okay? Because. Then we have since. Now that, as, as long as, while, for, because of, due to. But in this lesson, I'm not going to cover all of them. Actually, just four of them. All right, let's move. Adverb clauses of reason. Now we have the main clause and we have the adverb clause. So what do we write in the main clause? We start with a pronoun, subject, like she. Is sick. She is sick is a main clause. Then I add the adverb clause because. I use the adverb vocabulary because. She went out. You see? Because I had the adverb of reason because the whole clause becomes an adverb clause. She is sick because she went out. The man can go now. I change the adverb. I use since. So since he has finished. All right. The report is ready. Now that, this is another adverb of reason. I say, it has signed. It has signed. He can't leave the house as another adverb of reason. There's a lockdown. You see? If I switched any of them, they would still mean the same thing. Let me try. The man can go now, instead of since, I'll say because. Because he has finished. Perfectly fine. If I choose this one, the report is ready. And instead of now that, I say because. Because it has been signed. The same thing. He can't leave the house. Change as. I say because. Because there is a lockdown. Okay? So they are interchangeably. And uh, they are interchangeable. And you can use them. So let's try task one. Question. Place the adverb in the following. And you have a mark of three. Number one, Maha can speak French. She lived in France once. You have to place because within this sentence. You have five seconds. Okay, let's, let's check. The answer is right here. Maha can speak French. This is the main clause. So I add an adverb clause. I say because she lived in France once. All right. Let's check the other one. Amr is late today. He overslept. 
you have to use sense. You have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is right over there. You say, Amr is late today since he overslept. All right, if you're correct, give yourself a mark. Three, they won the match, they trained very well. Use as within the sentence, five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is right over here. You say they won the match as they trained very well. Now give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Adverb closes of reason. Now I'm going to switch. I'm going to start with the adverb close this time and then end it with the main close. So I start with the adverb, the adverbs. So I start with because she went out. Notice that I have a comma now. Since he has finished another comma. Now that it has been signed, comma, as there's a lockdown, comma. Let's check the main clause of these sentences. Because she went out, she is sick. Since he has finished, the man can go now. Now that it has been signed, the report is ready. As there's a lockdown, he can't leave the house. So what has been changed? Well, look at these. Now, I have capital letters and because, since, now, and as, because they start the sentences, okay? And then these letters, they are lowercase now. Why? Because they are not in the beginning of the sentence, they are in the middle, okay? And I added the commas. And I shifted these into lowercase as well. All right. So task number two. Write T if the sentence is correct or F if it's false. And you have a mark of three. Number one. Now that raining, the plants will grow. If it's correct, write T. If it's false, write false. Five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is false. Why is that? Ah, you have to add a comma to make it right. All right, number two. Because here, he's here, comma, will have the party. True or false? Five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer is true, because he's here, we'll have the party. Okay, third one. He succeeded, comma, he worked hard as. True or false? Five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is false. Why is that? As he worked hard, I switched, you see? As he worked hard, comma, he succeeded. He succeeded. Now give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number three. In your notebooks, answer the following question. Combine pair of sentences using the provided verbs, adverbs, as in the example below. I'm going to answer the first one. Iman decided to move, full stop. She has a better offer elsewhere. Now your task is to use because between the parentheses to combine these two sentences. Let's check the answer. The answer is Iman decided to move because she has a better offer elsewhere. Full stop. I use because in here and combine both sentences. Now your task is to combine two to five. Let me read them for you. They had a lot of unwanted belongings, full stop. They had a garage sale. You have to use since. Three, she won't need to do yard work 
full stop, she's living in an apartment. Now that. Four, she needs to save money, full stop. Her sons are going to college soon. You have to use as. Her sons are older, full stop. They help out a lot. You have to use because. And you have three minutes to answer this. Okay, now let's check the answers. Model answer for question A. Number two. Since they had a lot of unwanted belongings, comma, they had a garage sale. Three. She won't need to do yard work anymore now that she is living in an apartment. Four. She needs to save money as her sons are going to college soon. Five. Because her sons are older, comma, they help out a lot. All right, let's go over to task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. Write four sentences using adverb clauses. Now this time, you're going to use two sentences starting with the main clause and two other sentences starting with the adverb clause, like in the example. And you have a mark of eight. I am really excited because it is my birthday. Now you have three minutes to do that.
All right, let's check the answers now. Before you do that, you have to use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Let's jump to the model answer for question B. Number one, the boy who ran fast was about to fall. Two, that tree that bore some fruit is a mango tree. Three, this is the phone my father bought on my birthday. Four, the game that you played is very interested. Very interesting. Now, these sentences should be different to yours, but compare them both using the self-correcting tools. Well done. Tap yourself on the back and give yourself two marks for finishing the lesson and calculate your final mark. Now, you are able to use adverb clauses in writing sentences, and you have a mark of 20. If you have 100% uh, correct answers, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or more, that means 15 marks or more, you can go over the part you failed in and redo it. If you have 70% correct answers or below than that, then means uh, 15 marks or lower than that, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.